Potato scallop with uh, chicken salt, please. It's got to be a four, maybe a five out of ten. Damn. <laughs> oh. Just get a potato skull with the chicken salt, please. As always, it would not be a Jojo Moto road ride without some dirt roads in there, hey? What was that? cool out here so the fire is awesome well g'day and welcome to Jojo Moto as you can see the bike is fully loaded and it doesn't matter how many times I do these sorts of rides I'm excited the ER500 here is fully loaded um, I've got gear sitting all over it and it's uh, She's a big pack mule, I can tell you that well. It's a little pack mule, but full of gear. Um, anyway, I've got some really random plans going on. Um, I've been looking at my 200 top rides from Hema Maps that I got a number of years ago, and um, just trying to make a bit of a plan on where we're gonna ride and find some really cool roads, which I'm super excited about. And the other random thing is uh, just whatever, scrolling Facebook the other night, and um, I found the Potato Cakes Appreciation Society. Now for me, a Queenslander, it's a potato scallop, um, but it made me think, wouldn't it be cool to instead of do like a pub crawl, to do a potato cakes or potato scallop crawl and uh, try and find the best potato scallops within a you know a couple of thousand k's radius of where I live. Um, that's a bit of a plan, that's what we're gonna be doing, trying some potato cakes along the way and uh, having a bit of fun with that, ordering some of those and giving them a rating. But anyway, let's, uh, Enough with the nonsense, it's the night before. I'm gonna show you over the bike and uh, you know, so you can see how it's all set up and all the gear that I've got. Pretty standard stuff, but there's a few new features I wanna show you guys. Rightio, so we've got our Kawasaki ER5, uh, fully loaded. She's got the dirt tires on, haven't washed it since the last ride, uh, but that's all good. Been riding it a fair bit, pumping out some Ks. We've got some, some new stuff on it from making it into the scrambler build and whatever, but that's irrelevant, right. Uh, loaded up, we've got all of our camping gear, we've got a tent and chair, and then food, water, all of that sort of stuff in there. Then we've got coffee making facilities and bits and pieces in our top box, all the light stuff because it's um, not super sturdy. Uh, but we've got a new tank bag we're trying out. So this big guy here, um, she fits a lot of gear, it's a, it's a big bag. Uh, the only weird thing is it's held on by magnets, which I'm not too confident with. So I've got myself a little uh, padlock um, chain there. And uh, we're also trying out the helmet hook. Thank you to Helmet Hooks Australia. So that'll be cool, being able to lock our helmet there when we go for walks and whatever and, and do some uh, national park sightseeing. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty standard. We've got everything ready to go. Um, you know, water in our camel back and whatever. All of the, all of the standard stuff to uh, head out camping and venturing. So um, yeah, that's the bike and uh, it's uh, already done a test ride and filled it up full of fuel and she's feeling pretty good. It's heavy, 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 but it is what it always is. So uh, put a bit more air in the tires too. I'm not too sure how much I'm supposed to run for a touring bike, but all good. We are good to go in the morning. So um, that's about it really. See so, yeah, she's all loaded, full of fuel, full of water, full of camping gear, everything we need, uh, food and bits and pieces. So um, yeah, I think we're ready to head off in the morning. The basic plan is to head south from here on the Sunshine Coast and just trip around, do the sort of border ranges and head down. Um, I think the eventual plan is Grafton and doing all the waterfall way and all those roads down there, some amazing scenery and checking out some more national park stuff. I've got the bike hopefully set up a bit better where I can just sort of, you know, lock things up and leave it. But, you know, I still don't like doing that. Anyway, um, I might see you for the first uh, potato cake in the morning or um, just tripping around some cool roads. So let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to a great week. We've got like seven days if we need it, so. Super excited. Let's ride. Uh, we're a lot later than what we intended to set off as usual, but yeah, it's 8.30 or so. <laughs> we finally got stuff sorted. Did my half an hour of exercise and mucked around and things went wrong and all the rest of it as they do. But uh, hey, we're on the road. We're good to go. We got ourselves a, a week of on the road if we need it or want it. And uh, we're traveling south and just gonna have some fun. So um, we got a little bit of boring highway case to do straight up. And then after that, uh, we got some cool, awesome roads to head south on. So, yeah, just uh, strap in and enjoy the ride. I've got some goals as always, and um, trying to do an hour of travel maximum before stopping. 
<laughs> you know how that goes for me. Um, any cool sites that I haven't seen before, you know, waterfalls, lookouts, those sorts of things, stop, check them out. Um, we know the potato scallops, the potato cakes, uh, that's one of them as well for this ride. And yeah, not too much uh, on bike filming, you know, there'll be little scatters of it, but mostly uh, off bike filming and cool places and showing you amazing stuff rather than just, well, it might, might be considered boring GoPro footage. <laughs> Good mate. Yeah. Radio. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Potato scallop stop number one. Uh, we're in Kilcoy, and uh, yeah, just by the way, while we're in Queensland, we're gonna always call it a potato scallop. So um, when we're out west a little bit, uh, there's not going to be any fish and chip shops because. If you're an aficionado of uh, potato scallops, you'll know that fish and chip shops are usually doing best. But um, anyhow, when we're out west uh, of the uh, coast, we're going to have to find some, um, you know, just standard little cafes and whatever to fill the need. So stop in at Kilcoy and find a little cafe. I'm sure they got something somewhere. We're going to find our first potato scallop. Well, thanks. Just a potato scallop with uh, chicken salt, please. Yep, no worries. Thank you. Radio. Good on you, mate. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Have a good one. You too. Radio. Right so, not a fresh one. Sitting in a hot box, obviously, from a servo, but um, yeah, she looks alright. It's hot. Hot. So, it's somewhat crispy. A um, bit mushy in the middle. It's like more batter than potato, you know. Overall rating, it's got to be a four, maybe a five out of ten. Which is exactly why I didn't want to go to a servo. I wanted to go to a cafe where it's cooked fresh. I guarantee it'd be much better. Support the little guy too. Let's go. Well, I guess one way to look at it is uh, it's only onwards and upwards from here for that um, potato scallop. I don't want to give it a five because I feel, you know, five is average, right? In the middle. So I'm going to be pretty harsh and give that one a four. And that's my final response for that one. Anyway, let's keep riding and uh, see where our next potato scallop comes from. Fernvale, and uh, this may be our second potato scallop of the ride. I have no idea. I can't remember what Fernvale's like. Oh, this is looking like it. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Just a potato scallop with chicken salt, please. Is that it? That's it. How easy is that? <laughs> Too easy. 
That's it. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Uh, not fresh made either from the hot box, but um, we'll give it a go. Well, that's been there since yesterday. I hope my appreciation for potato scallops hasn't gone away, and that's the whole. Yeah. I don't know. The potato in that one was definitely better, um, but the outside was not crunchy, but it wasn't soggy, it was sort of like chewy, so I think it'd have been in there a little while. Hot box. Looking forward to getting a fresh one at some point. I'm gonna give that one a five, I reckon. It was better than the last one, but not amazing. So, all right, let's keep going. I reckon that one's a five, but it's pretty on par with the other one. <laughs> uh, so, I hope the video, the phone footage is turning out all right, because I don't really know how to film, but um, I don't know, have I lost my appreciation for uh, potato scallops? I don't, I don't know, maybe it's that. Maybe they're all delicious and amazing, and, uh, and I'm just being picky. I'm sure we'll find a cracker somewhere. <laughs> so good. Anyway, we're just keeping on heading south, heading down towards the uh, border ranges and that sort of area. We'll be heading into New South Wales soon. Then we've got to work out is, um, is a potato scallop in New South Wales a potato cake? They changed the name, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Wave it around a bit. I'd be showing them. They'll see it. There you go. Made their day. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of horses at home. <laughs> That's so awesome. I just made these kids' days. <laughs> made their day. We're uh, out the back of Ipswich and I thought, oh, we've got a couple of young people approaching. Do I get my knife out or are we, uh, we all good? I said, can you whistle? I said, sure, I could whistle. Oh, we want to feed the horses. We'll be trying to learn how to whistle all day. <laughs> uh, enjoy your day, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So cool. That just... Ah! That filled my bucket today, I'll tell you that much. That filled my bucket. Oh, I feel so warm. <laughs> and not just because it's 35 degrees. Uh, good on those kids, eh? Hey? It's so, it's so, that's so wholesome. So wholesome. You know, they just wanted to feed the horses. They just want to feed the horses. You got a box of apples or whatever. Oh, love that. Anyway, <laughs> let's just keep riding. What a cool experience. <laughs> oh, get excited, folks. Look at those rangers, huh? Yeah. Well, that was pretty wild. I um just caught my mirror. <laughs> It was falling out and now I'm holding on to it and I don't know what to do. Thankfully we're just about to be in the town right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Who put this bike together? Hey! <laughs> right, Boona. Fuel stop. Put a mirror back on. Oh look at that view. Might even find ourselves a potato scallop. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Oh, get excited, people. Get excited. Hi, well, thanks. Can I just get a potato scallop with chicken salt, please? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very much well, we got our first uh, oval shaped scallop. Different shape, that's for sure. Looks pretty good. From the hot box again, though. It's a real one. I say real, but... It's 
definitely has the flavour of the um, other stuff that's being cooked in the deep fryer, so a bit different, but good flavour. Seven and a half. I'm going to go seven and a half. Um, good flavour, crunchy, nice in the inside, not too much batter, <clears throat> um, and good flavour, really, really good flavour. Maybe an eight. No, let's, let's stick to seven and a half. Um, yeah, really delicious. Here in Boona, a little takeaway milk bar. Um, awesome. <laughs> Loved it. Delicious. Absolutely the best one yet. Maybe it's hard because I've only had a couple of really dud ones. So anyway, um, let's keep riding. We'll uh, see what the day brings. I have no idea what we're doing next. So I'm going to look over the maps and check out things now. All right. Well, that was definitely the best potato scallop yet. I think that's out of three, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, solid seven and a half, if not eight out of yeah, out of ten on that one. Fanging for some fruit or something. I'll tell you for what, all this uh, fat and gross stuff's got me feeling pretty feral. closed so right how do we get through here then if the road is closed hmm well, we've got plenty of fuel plenty of daylight so I reckon we just go check it out eh wow well again it's like Jurassic Park up there. That's amazing, hey. Wow. And even if we do have to turn around, this is this is worth a little ride, hey. <laughs> oh, exceptional. Oh my lord. Look at this. Magical man, magical. Why is it closed? It's disappointing, man. Really disappointing, hey. Nothing we can do about it. We could probably, no doubt, on the bike go around all of it, but <sighs> well, it was worth it just to see these couple of little sights. This rock wall here and the crossings. Magical place. Look at it. That's crazy, hey. Oh boy, oh boy. This could be a bad choice. So a couple of options. We can check the maps, let down the tyres, and uh, hey, going guys, let down the tyres and keep cruising this way. 70 odd Ks by the looks of it. We can go back the other way. Mm. I think the way the front tyre is facing has uh, made the decision for us. <laughs> We're already going this way. Let's just keep going. All part of the adventure, isn't it? As always, it would not be a Jojo Moto road ride without some dirt roads in there, hey? Very steep climb for 1.8 k's. Feels like we're already on top of the world. I don't know how we're gonna get much higher. I think that's a song actually. Can't park there, Hoss. Oof. Hey mate. Hey, has that Ute been there for a while? Yeah, but we is all good? Alright. <laughs> Thanks mate.
bit troubling seeing that <laughs> that ute there like that and then oh actually what if there's someone still in it <laughs> yeah I've um, resided to the fact that we're we're on dirt for the next whatever 60 k's or something oh, we're just doing our thing just taking it slow taking it easy and hopefully just having a nice chilled dirt ride this is the uh, the back way the dirt road into Mexico I mean New South Wales so we don't need our passports there shouldn't be anyone manning the border so we should be right to get through with all the stowaways we've got here Across the border we go. Years of off-road training has prepared me for that moment. Yeah boys. Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? Right here. Oh, I don't want to get my feet wet. <laughs> are you serious? This is adventure, ladies and gentlemen. This is adventure. Oh, so funny. Ah, these misadventures, I tell ya. They make the adventure, don't they? Gotta get rid of all those plans and just... Just do it. Just enjoy. Back into Queensland again. Oh, that looks like a, a road down there. It looks like a road. Hello. we gain some altitude huh so that is the border right there cruise along we're just hanging out with the border between Mexico and Queensland uh, New South Wales and Queensland is this road even real life look at it I think this is cars lookout Well, I'm just having a break. We've been riding now for, I don't know, seven or so hours and um, just needed to chill out and I think I've found just the spot. Look at that. It does not get much prettier than that, ladies and gentlemen. What a place. This is Cars Lookout. So yeah, we're still just riding and uh, We've hit that crazy dirt, we got that out of the way, that was very unexpected, I had no idea that was going to happen today, so everything's a bit sore and tight, the hands are sore and red and uh, gripping way too tight and whatever, but um, we're all good, we're just loving life, we've got plenty of hours of daylight left and 
just find a campsite at some point and just chill out and whew, live in the dream, people, live in the dream. <laughs> Look at it. Look. Dags Falls Park. Rightio. Let's see what we see here. Oh my lord. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's amazing. And then just the scenery off into the distance. <laughs> wow, what a spot, man. Here's me complaining and whinging about trying to decide where to camp. This place is amazing. Who cares where I camp? Just keep riding around and seeing cool places like this. Who cares? <laughs> it was an epic waterfall and it's sort of... <laughs> that cemented the deal a little bit. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back to this little caravan park and uh, going to have a little check of the prices and... Yeah, to see um, see if it's worth it or not, and then uh, yeah, might uh, be doing that waterfall walk in the morning. And yep. Well, we went for the campground here at the uh, at the falls, and um, looks like a great spot. Camp kitchen, bathrooms, cheap price. Great waterfall walk tomorrow morning and it'll be awesome. So let's get camp set up, eh? Nice quick setup there. Everything is off the bike, and you saw that last little bit, my favourite bit. So cool. The tank bag just un, uh, unbolts, or whatever you want to call it, unlocks, and then just lifts straight up and into the tent. So now we'll just uh, set up in the tent, and then I might show you around once I'm all set up as well. All right. All right. Super quick little tent tour. So I've got riding gear will stay in that corner. Jeans off in a minute, and uh, all the riding gear over in that corner. Uh, shoes will just stay outside because they're stinky. I'm not actually wearing boots this time, but shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so I've got my sleeping setup, which a lot of people do actually ask about. This is a Sinmat Down 7 something. I can't actually remember it. Um, I might try and put it up in the in the video, uh, whatever, so that you guys can see. This sleeping bag is a very old Denali one. Um, it's like a zero degrees or five degrees or something like that so it's a good bag for you know all round um this is a new thing that i've got oh, i can't remember what they call it but it's uh, i don't know the, the helium pillar i think it is and that is a good thing all of these things are quite expensive quality um and it's worth getting quality stuff same with the tent um the tents uh, a companion two-person tent uh, which is awesome um just cheap pillow is just an added thing i've got all my um clothes and bits and pieces there you saw the tank bag come off that was awesome just pull the whole thing off uh, it was so good so that's we've got all charging equipment and cables and bits and pieces um, wallet phone all those but sort of things and then i've got um cooking gear here ready to go and some food bits and pieces ready to go for dinner tonight and i'll just keep i just keep my um camel back inside here as well so that i can have a little drink at night if i need to but um yeah try and keep everything off the bike and in the tent with me so that I know that it's safe and sound and when I go, you know, if I go to the bathroom or I go for a walk or whatever, I make sure that I've just got my keys, wallet, phone, just the basics, um, expensive stuff. So yeah, that's a little uh, inside tour of the tent. So tonight, um, I think we're just going to be chilling out down in the camp kitchen, charging up some stuff, cooking some dinner, having a couple of drinks. Um, and then I reckon pretty early bed. I've had a big day already. It's been massive. So yeah, it's been an awesome day though. I've been super stoked. The um, 
the silly uh, potato cakes, potato scallops today. Um, that was really fun and um, kept me fed as well. I've only had three of those today and that was enough. They're very filling, fatty, greasy, gross things. That it's not a health food kick, that's for sure. Um, but also I've ridden sort of seven or eight hours today as well. So it's been a big day and setting up camp and all the rest of it. So, um, and already done my exercise this morning before leaving. So yeah, been a big day. Um, but we'll just chill out at camp here, I think, and maybe go for a little walk and look at a few things around the place. But it's just gonna be pretty, pretty relaxed um, afternoon and then bed pretty early. I reckon watch a couple of TV shows. I've got the tablet here to watch some TV shows and whatever, a bit of uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and whatever. Um, but yeah, pretty relaxed stuff. So. Um, We'll just see what the uh, evening brings and I'll bring you guys around and show you some things if uh, there's anything cool. Man, I tell you what, it was a good choice to uh, come and stay here. We haven't even seen the falls yet. I just wanted to come along and dip my feet in the water. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Now we're going to do a weird reaction video for the first time seeing the falls here. Apparently you can see him reasonably well from where I'm standing and no, no you can't. <laughs> so the reaction video is uh, exactly that, I reacted like I should. So there's a viewing platform over there that we're going to do tomorrow, but the waterfall is behind all of that stuff, you can kind of see it, kind of. But we're going to be doing the big walk tomorrow morning to see all of that, which will be really awesome. Looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll just uh, finish off this walk for the rest of the afternoon. Might pick up some firewood too, I think. And uh, have a little fire this evening, that'd be nice. There's a little hair right there. You guys see that? We're that close to the border. I thought it was gonna be a rabbit, but it was a hair. Well, the camp kitchen here is really good. Um, it's got everything I need. It's got a PowerPoint to charge up my stuff and whatever, and I'm just looking over maps and having a drink and making some uh, healthy um, some uh, <clears throat> healthy dinner. But anyway, uh, so yeah, nice little camp kitchen. I'm just chilling out here, and it's a great spot to be. Charging maps, drinks, microwave, kettle, toaster, sink everything you need so yeah good little spot barbecue awesome probably should have uh, thought about this more and got some steaks or something to cook on the barbecue but anyway all good happy days all right had a shower now we just got a awesome fire ripping now just chilling out loving life it's quite cool out here so the fire is awesome all right, well, we've had our shower, we've uh, had dinner, we've done all the other things that we need to do. We even got a campfire put in there as well, which is awesome. It's now time to hit the hay. I am tired. I had a massive day. So um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. What a fun, fun day. Crazy roads, the silly potato scallop stuff. Just an awesome day. Um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. It's just going to be so much fun. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Do the subscribe, the notification, do the other social media thingies. Uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you thought about today's uh, funny video. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. GS 500, is it GS? What is this thing? <laughs> the ER. As I'm just cruising down the highway, those evil thoughts are already encroaching. If I just stayed on the highway and kept traveling south, it's now about 8.30. By 8.30 tonight, I could be a bit past Sydney. <laughs> oh, so bad. One of my main goals is to not do many Ks, just to chill out and ride around. Oh, it's so funny such a iron butt long long distance traveler at heart hey <laughs> this bike's actually quite comfy to ride at um highway you know i've got the uh, cruise control little peg going here i've got the air hawk seat um, it 
doesn't have good wind protection so you do get blown around a little bit but it actually sort of holds up your body sort of for you a little bit as you lean into the wind anyway rambling thoughts this is supposed to be uh, all cut out of the video this highway stuff <laughs> okay check out the dash 48,999 49,000 sort of it's a bit wonky <laughs> but uh, I'm predicting we're gonna be hitting that 50,000 K's on this ride the old $300 motorbike really cool little bikers hang here at Peachester that was my first hour break there had my stop. And now we'll uh, kick up. We're gonna go the other way. We normally go that way, but um, so it's just a little bit nicer. That's the plan for this ride, isn't it? To not necessarily go the fastest way, but to the best way, the nicest way. It's a Sunday today too, so there's a lot of bikers out and about, which is cool to see. Rain sticking away, staying away for a bit. So. Whoa! Did I just not see any of those signs or what? Jeepers! That's crazy. I think we're going to see a lot of cool bikes today. Do you think we should race him? Let's race him. ER 500 versus Hayabusa GSXR 1300. He's got nothing. Bring it on. I still haven't really worked out how I'm going to film this because you guys know me, I'm not one of those, you know, big time YouTubers that film in a shop and whatever sit down and eat and film yourself eating or whatever <laughs> it's just weird still for me anyway the day is actually cooled down a little bit which is awesome there's a bit of cloud cover and it's feeling good not too hot <clears throat> on a separate note um, the bike's got a bit of a bit of a top end rattly knock going on Seems to be running alright at the moment, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll check the uh, oil levels later too. I checked them before we went, but yeah, we'll just keep an ear out for that. And if it gets horrendously disgusting, then we'll whatever, do something about it. Park it up in the bush and walk home. No huge loss in money. <laughs> uh, Radio, turn off we do. Somerset Dam. We've done this road a few times. But it's uh, an awesome road and it gets you south in a nice way rather than uh, rather than heading down the highway. Yuck. Alright, which is pretty rough, pretty bumpy, but uh, still a fun road, the old Somerset Road. And now we're um, cruising on down to somewhere else. <laughs> I can't even remember. Why is that place like basically empty? It's, it's school holidays. Like holidays have started already. There's no one around. The same one went to look at Inskip Point, booking that just for a holiday, just for a chill out and camp. And there's like no one's booking anything. It's really weird. All right, this is the way we're gonna go. Fernvale and Mount Glorious way. We're not gonna head down to Esk. We're gonna do the do the bottom section, I guess you'd call it, around Wyvernhoe Dam. And head down south that way. Oh, I definitely need to be in the left lane. Oh, slow vehicle, slow rider. Chilled out day. It's a decent range, decent hill. Gonna have 
to get some more magnets for the uh, tank bag. Double up on the magnets. But I reckon first I'll complain to them and say it. Complain to them and then say that it's, um, it wouldn't stay there properly and was moving around and it needs more magnets. I'll see if they send me another stack of magnets. see that Salika take off awesome old rig I've been seeing heaps of heaps of bikes all Christmas stuff so there must be a Christmas charity ride around here or something just happened super cool all right we've got fuel over there um, but I've been to that petrol station before so I'm just gonna drive through town and have a little look around and um, see what we've got today there's a nice little cafe on the out, uh, outside of town here Looks like a cool little milk bar. Wonder if they do potato scallops. You know what, I'm actually, what, we've only had two, haven't we, I think? And I'm already fanging for some fruit. <laughs> I might have to go and buy an apple. Oh gosh. If we can find something that's open like that anyway today, it's a Sunday. Anyway, we'll see. All right, well, that was definitely the best, the best potato scallop. Oh man, it's so good. It got me stumbling my words. The best potato scallop yet. I think it's out of three. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, solid seven and a half, if not eight out of yeah, out of ten on that one. That was pretty good. But like I said before, man, I'm fanging for some fruit or something. I'll tell you what, all this uh, fat and gross stuff's got me feeling pretty feral. Uh, anyway, we're going to keep heading south now. Uh, we're heading down towards like Rath Downey and um, Urbanville and Woodenbong and those sort of places. Um, tripping around there. Might end up staying somewhere around there tonight. Uh, who knows? But yeah, first things first. We're just going to we're just going to kick on through some amazing roads. It's still pretty early. It's only like one o'clock or something like that. So we've got plenty of time this afternoon. Um, yeah, so we'll just kick on. I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy these amazing roads and amazing scenery. Yeah. Oh, look, this is that bike thing. Come on, we got we got to have a little look in, huh? We have to. We have to. Hey. <laughs> I think someone just yelled out, join us. Oh, more bikes. Lots of bikes. All right, that's why it's gonna take longer. We just did a turn off there to this road, uh, which is a tourist drive. And you know, I'm a tourist, but I'm not driving, I'm riding, but that's okay. It's got some great scenery along the way, apparently. Check it out. No doubt it does, look at those. Escarpment. <laughs> is that the right word? An escarpment? I think it is. So I am sure. Yeah, I reckon right there. Yep. I stopped. Put up the drone. A number of years ago. Four or five years ago. I don't know. Can we use that drone footage? Can we? I don't even know if I still got it. But if we could use that drone footage, I'm just gonna throw it in. You guys will never know. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm going crazy and it's only day one. Venture 
started to be looking at me just going what is this guy doing it's the second set i've gone past i gotta admit i'd be ripping this up if i was on some ktm 950 adventure or something like that i would be tearing it up but hey this is tearing it up right on a kawasaki er5 this is as good as tearing it up do you reckon someone lives in that? I would imagine not, but hey, you never know. Man, this is nerve-wracking, but geez, it's cool. Geez, it's so cool. Ah, oh, it's so skatey and difficult to ride on with these pumped up tires and no suspension and oh, but man, it's next level fun. Um okay, that's so that's a it says road open but that's the condomine um condomine river road there which i've never done before and it's got some deep crossings not really keen to do that on this bike eh? so we'll just stick to narrow winding mountain roads yes sir <laughs> yes sir just got dark and cool like temperature wise but also like awesome wise as well <laughs> wow wow <laughs> listen to his excitement wow love it here man it's beautiful some of those ranges that we were seeing before we're up on top of one of them <laughs> like right up on top of one of them so cool oh that's so cool <laughs> oh my gosh so great well that would have been good to be recording <laughs> far out nearly just hit a kangaroo like I mean I was only doing 70 or 80 k's an hour but whew, man I had to hit the peaks hard so I'm just looking at the maps and trying to work out what to do right now we've still got you know whatever 100 and 200 and Oh, just just under 200 k's 180 k's of fuel um i think all the service stations are closed in the area now i don't think we're getting fuel this afternoon so we can camp within a 200 k radius of here ish um i don't want to be riding late <laughs> especially after nearly uh collecting a roo just before um but yeah i'd like to set up and just chill out i'm already sore all over and so what we might do is we'll head down here and um, I think we'll just sort of basically keep heading the way we're heading. If we can camp in somewhere near Urbanville, if we could get that far, but I don't know how far it is. I don't know how, like if it's Urbanville is about an hour away, maybe we'll, um, we'll push it and we'll go for it. That'll be fine. But if it's, uh, you know, a couple of hours and a couple of hundred Ks, then eh, we'll just find a camp somewhere, somewhere a bit closer. I remember this from another ride, Queen Mary Falls, and yeah, there's a there's a little caravan park on the other side of the road, and then the falls on the uh, on well, the other side of the road. And um, I stopped in and I, you know, asked someone. They said, "Oh yeah, it's a like 2.3k walk or something." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, not up for that, eh? Why is it empty?" Just empty, hey. I don't I don't understand. Are people not traveling anymore or that's just yeah. Just trying to find phone reception. Um because we'll pull over and just check out. See how much this uh camping is at the caravan park and I don't know if it's not crazy then maybe we'll camp there tonight and go and walk the falls and whatever tomorrow morning and yeah 
an adult unpowered in camper van 15 bucks oh. 15 bucks it's time 3.30 oh it could be us alright I don't like doing it but uh, I found a good spot and we've camped there before <laughs> so I don't know I think we're just going to kick on it's like an hour away or something like that and um, yeah an hour and 12 minutes away so we'll be there within a, at a decent time um, we might pass pass a place to get a drink possibly uh, yeah I don't know man we can quite easily right now turn around okay we've got to exercise in the morning or at some point tomorrow so that's not going to be conducive to exercise that place mm. we've got options spoke to my beautiful wife and uh, she's always the voice of reason and said you'd be silly to go past this waterfall place if you wanted to go there last time and couldn't do it then just stay here tonight and do it in the morning and yeah anyway let's uh, go check it out hopefully it's a nice spot